Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint BIW MHG 71484 integrated washing machine. Now this particular model is a 1400 spin speed and it has a maximum wash load of up to 7 kilograms. There are other models in the range. There's a 1200 spin version of this one. There are also 8 and 9 kilogram versions. The, the functionality and everything are basically the same, but for the purpose of this video I'll be showing you the 7 kilogram 1400 spin. And what I want to do today is to show you around the machine, some of the features and benefits that it offers. So let's have a look. So as you can see, this is an integrated washing machine, uh, which means that it doesn't look the same as a normal freestanding washer. Uh, basically with this, then you do need your furniture door to go on the front. Uh, and as you can see here, you have got holes on the left hand side. You do get everything. Uh, so I know I've not got them unpacked on, on show, but you've got all the hinges are included to connect your door onto it and also you get the feet so they're the adjustable feet and they are uh, basically all you do is you tip the machine back so at the moment there's nothing on it uh, but what you will need to do is you will need to raise it up to go as high as under the counter uh, when it comes to the installation of integrated products then it can be quite an art to do it properly uh, it's not that difficult uh, to actually get the door on uh, but the key thing is getting it level so getting it level with the worktop and if you've got other appliances next to it then getting everything level and square and that, that's the key so sometimes on things like integrated products if you're not too sure what to do or how to do it then I would recommend getting someone in to, to come and do it properly so the display of the machine is quite easily laid out first of all you've got the on and off button uh, just to the left hand side of the main dial uh, as you can see, on here on the very left hand side, actually on the soap drawer, then you've got a list of all the programs, which is good, it's nice to have them to hand. Uh, and you've got all the programs numbered just around the main dial. Uh, I'll cover some of the programs, I won't cover all of them. Um, but what you will find is that you've got a, a really nice clear LED display. I must say I do like it when manufacturers go for a white LED display. Uh, some manufacturers go for a red one and they're not quite as easy to read. So I'm really pleased that Hotpoint have decided to go for a white one. Um, what it's doing is it's showing you the time remaining of the program on the right hand side. And you will find that as you change it to different programs, then that time will vary as well. Uh, so just to cover some of the programs, um, you've got, first of all, you've got this, this is called the Anti-Stain 100. Uh, and this is really designed for uh, single fabric use as Hotpoint put it, so they wouldn't recommend mixing fabrics. Uh, it does give the ability to wash at the full 7 kilogram because not all of the programs, and that's something I do try to mention, don't assume that all of these programs can be used for a full 7 kilogram load. Um, there's quite a few of these that are for smaller loads and I'll cover some of those in a moment. Uh, but for this one then you can use a full 7 kilogram load and what you have got is you, just down the left hand side here you have got the different temperature options so you press the button and it will alter the temperature so on this particular program you can go up to a 40 degree and then down to 30, 20 and even a, just a cold wash so that will just wash in the temperature of the water that's coming into the machine as you come round to some of the other programs things like number 3 which is the white uh, the white option then you will find with that that it does go up to the higher temperatures so on this one you can go up to a 90 degree wash uh, there's not many washes that go up to a 90 uh, but again on that one you can wash up to a, a maximum of the 7 kilogram load uh, for some of the other programs this is a anti-stain quick so it's the same as the top program but it's just a quick program so that's just a 45 minute program then you will find on that one that's a maximum of 3.5 kilograms so as you move around to some of the other programs, uh, this is another one, it's called the Eco Cotton. And you will find that um, at four and a half hours, that it does seem a particularly long wash. Uh, the main reason for that is that modern washing machines need a, a length of time to wash the clothes and everything inside properly. So you will find that um, even if the program looks a long time, then it, basically that means it's more energy efficient. Uh, I know it sounds bizarre, but it is using less electricity and water compared to some of the other quick wash programs. 
Um, I'd always recommend if you have got time um, to try and use some of these programs, uh, you will find the performance of the wash will be better than if you're using some of the quick programs. Uh, but what you'll also find is that it might not take four and a half hours because what they do, in, and it's, it's the same on pretty much every washing machine now, is that they will actually adjust the wash time depending on the load that's in there. So if you put, say, half a load in there, then it wouldn't normally take the four and a half hours. It, what it will do is it will take a certain amount of water in, and depending on how much is saturated, um, then the machine knows what the kind of load is, and then it will actually adjust the wash time accordingly. So although it says four and a half hours to start with, then it might reduce the time. Uh, so again, on that one, you can wash for the maximum of the seven kilogram load. Uh, we'll just point out that although four and a half hours is a long time, um, I'll just show you on this program, this is the bed linen program. So if you're washing your sheets and your, your duvet cover, then this is, a, this is quite a good program. Um, some of these specialised programs, what I say about the bed linen, um, although it's still washing everything, uh, some of these are really good programs. Uh, because what you'll find is that things like the bed linen, it will still spin it, uh, but it will wash in a completely different way to other ones like the white or the eco cotton. So it is worth noting that when you're buying something like this, then just have a look for some of these specialised programs. Uh, but what you can find is that, although it says two hours for this program, then you have got some, a button on the right hand side here called cleaning action. And what it will do is it will actually increase or decrease the time of the program, depending on how dirty the everything is inside. So if you, decide that everything isn't that dirty then you can actually press that button and you can reduce the time a little bit so it I suppose it really depends so if you're washing things like football kits or rugby kits then you might want to add extra time on or if everything that you're washing is quite lightly soiled then you just press the button and it will actually increase or decrease the time accordingly so it's just the cleaning action button on the right hand side there and it goes from 220, so that's increasing the time, or decrease down to one hour 50, or pressed again to two hours. So it's a really good option. Now, not everyone has got either three or four hours to do a full wash. Uh, so as you come around to some of these, then you have got some of the, the quicker programs. Uh, you've got this, which is the, the mixed load. And as it shows, that's 40 degrees. And you can do that in, in around an hour. Uh, you have got an even quicker program. So this is number 10, which is the first 30 minutes. And that's just a really quick, well, as it says, 30 minute program. Uh, you will find that on that one, it is a maximum of 800 spin. And the temperature on that is maximum is 30 degrees. So it is quite a, um, it's a light program. So you wouldn't use it for a full wash. Uh, on this program, you can only wash for a maximum of three kilograms. Uh, you will find if you put a full seven kilogram load in there, then it will take a lot longer than half an hour. And also the washing performance won't be as good. And then as you carry around the dial, then you have got some of the other options. You go into the care section, as they call it. Uh, so you've got the, the woolens. So number 11 is the woolen program. And similar to the to the Fast 30, that the, the maximum temperature, is, well, on this one is 40 degrees, but you can vary it if you want to. Uh, again, the spin speed, the maximum of eight is 800. You wouldn't want to spin your woolens any, any more than 800. Uh, and then as you come round to some of the other, you've got the Ultra Delicates. Um, most manufacturers will call that the Delicate program, but clearly if you've got some Ultra Delicates, then you can wash it in this machine on number 13. And then to carry on, you've got things like the Rinse and Spin, just there and if you just want to spin and drain clothes then you've got that option and you will find that the temperature button doesn't work on this which is good because you're not washing anything but the spin speed you can spin at the full 1400 and that's important I'm glad that they've done that not all manufacturers will do that on their spin only programs but I'm glad that Hotpoint have done it and that's a really good option so if you've hand washed something or if something is very wet, then you might just want to give it a spin. So, and while I've been showing you all these programs, then we've got this little button in the middle here that's been flashing away. And this is the start and pause button. So clearly once you've selected the program that you want, 
then you just press that button and that will start it for us. You have got the pause option as well, so if you were um, sort of washing away and if it was quite early in the program before it's filled up with water then you can pause the program and just pop something else in if you've forgotten the say the odd sock then you can just pop it in uh, if you just get too far into the wash then clearly you don't want to pause it because you'll get water everywhere so there are other options around the display here um, I'll just take you on to the white program and you will find that there's a button around here called energy saver and as standard this wash will take around 2 hours 20 minutes but if you press the button then that reduces it to an hour and 40 so it does cut a big chunk of time off and what that's doing is it's not actually heating the water so this is using the heat of the water that's coming into the machine um, so that's why they call it energy saver because it's not heating it um, that could be it could be a useful program if the the water that you've got coming in is is warm so on the same button you've actually got the child lock option um, all you need to do is press and hold that button for three seconds and then you'll have a little padlock symbol arrive and all that means is that you can't actually um, move any of the programs around so if you've got little children in the house that like to come and uh, play with the buttons and the dials then uh, just press that button and it will lock any of the programs uh, which is a really good option and then to get it back so that you can use it just press and hold that button again for three seconds uh, the next one is the start delay so what this will do is this will actually delay the program so if you use things like economy 7 uh, overnight where you've got cheap electricity then you've got that option there so you've got 24 hours and then it just goes back to the standard time of the program so that's a, another good option and then the last one around here is the multi rinse and what you can do is if you've got somebody in the household that suffers with things like skin allergies then you might want to add extra rinses into the end of the program and for some people it's not important but there are there will be a lot of people out there where this could be uh, this could be one of the main reasons that people buy the machine uh, so as uh, again it's one hour 40 a standard and you can add one extra rinse goes up to 154 two extra rinses up to 208 and three extra rinses 222 so again it does add a bit of extra time but for some people then this could be a really important option so the next thing on the left hand side you've got the soap drawer and it's got a nice uh, little lip just around the side there so you can get your fingers around the side to pull it open and hop ones have had this designed for several years now on, the, on their integrated and especially their freestanding machines. So it's a fairly standard layout. You've got the main wash, pre-wash conditioner in here. Uh, quite a common question we get, either through my YouTube channel or in the showroom, is how do you take these out? Because a lot of the time you want to take it out to give it a good clean. And all you do is you pull it a little bit, just so, it's, um, so it goes over the lip there. And then you pull this forward so the first couple of times using it, because everything in here is new, it can be a little bit stiff. So you just pull that, and then that's released from there. So with this, then, you know, you, you can say, pop it into a dishwasher if you want, just to give it a, a nice, really good clean, um, or wash it in hot, soapy water. And then when it comes to putting it back on, then you just locate it on the left-hand side here, run it along the track on the door, and then just push it on the left hand side, lift it, and then it clicks into place. It can be a little bit fiddly, but don't be worried about breaking it. Uh, you should be fine. And you shut the door, and then away you go. So a couple of other things to show you. First of all, the door. You just got the grip inside there, so it's nice and easy to open. And what I'm really pleased is that Hotpoint have given us really strong hinges in here. Uh, not all manufacturers are, are as strong as this uh, and there's one or two that's starting to go to plastic hinges which personally I think is a bad idea but uh, as I say I'm really glad that Hotpoint have chosen to go with nice strong metal hinges and things like the door catch as well um, you've got the uh, the drum it's it's not the biggest porthole uh, but on this particular machine this is only a seven kilogram uh, as you go up to a nine kilogram then I think it's a it is a little bit bigger so it just makes life a little bit easier to get the clothes in and out. At the bottom of the machine, 
and I know this would normally be behind the plinth uh, once it is fully integrated into your kitchen or utility uh, but you have got the uh, pump or you've got access to it just behind there and all you do is you just turn it anti-clockwise um, just make sure you, you do it when the machine is finished when there's no water in the machine you will find that there will be a little bit of residual water in there so just have a cloth or a tray to hand when you do open it now I'll just show you around the back of the machine I know for a lot of people it's not going to be that relevant uh, but if you are going to be installing the machine then it could be quite important on how the back of the machine looks so the first thing is on the right hand side here you've got the water inlet and it does come with a new hose so I would always recommend using the new hose if you get one at the bottom left here that's where you've got the the waste the waste outlet uh, what I do like about these machines is that they are pretty flat on the back so if you have got pipes running behind it then it shouldn't normally be an issue because they are fairly slim depth machines as well uh, just make sure you've got these so you've got four of these these are the transit bolts uh, if you are installing it yourself then you make sure you take these out before you well before you do anything before you start doing putting the door on then make sure you take these out that is imperative because if not then you could damage the machine and that won't be covered under the warranty uh, one other thing to note is that what Hotpoint have done is they've actually written front on the top here uh, I'm not quite sure why but I must say when I first unpacked it I had no idea what was the front so I'm really glad they stamped it on the top there so if you are thinking of buying one of these machines then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Hotpoint BIW MHG 71484 integrated washing machine. I'm not quite sure why Hotpoint decided to make the model number so long. It is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, but please click subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions on the product, uh, either if you've got any questions about the, the washing machine itself, or if you've got one and you're not sure about something, then just leave it in the comments or below. Uh, also, just let me know what you thought about the video, uh, whether you enjoyed it or not. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.